Hi, welcome to Ukulele Club. This is a short video for beginners. I'm going to show you three simple ways to strum your ukulele. So the first way we're going to look at is playing with your thumb, which I think gives you the nicest, sweetest sound. So what we're trying to do is vibrate the strings, not twang the strings. If the strings are moving down like this, then you're, then you're pressing too hard. It's more of a brush where you're moving your thumb across the top of the strings and we're trying to brush all four strings at the same time. Now it's going to help if you can keep this hand, if not the whole arm, nice and steady or in fact completely still. It's just my thumb that's moving. So personally I like putting my fingers here. But if your arm's not long enough, you could do it here, here. It's going to depend a bit on your arm size and hand size. The point is we're just moving our thumb. Keeping your hand still like this gives you much more control over your thumb and it's going to make it easier for you to find exactly the right amount of pressure you need to make the strings ring nice and evenly, not too hard and not too soft. And also, of course, it means you can, you can hold the ukulele. You can support it while you're changing chords, especially if you're playing when you're standing up. We're kind of gripping it here with our elbow and lower arm, and then this is an extra support here. So when you're, when you're practicing strumming like this, you want to be counting in bars and beats, or at least feeling a constant beat, counting out loud or in your head, tapping your feet, moving your shoulders, or all of those things. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. So our second way of strumming is with our index finger, your pointer or first finger. Now like with your thumb, we're not trying to twang the strings and we're not trying to hit them. If the string is bending, you're, you're doing it too hard. And if you're hitting the string with this part of your finger, it's going to really hurt. And you're going to get very sore finger, especially here where the nail meets the skin. Ukulele players don't have specially built fingers or skin, we're just not hitting the ukulele with that bit of the finger, we're hitting it with this bit of the finger, the tip. The very tip of the nail, and the very tip of the finger here. And again, like with the thumb, it's more of a brush across the top of the strings. I think it's easier to start softly and gently build up and get stronger and maybe louder, the more control you get. Now this finger needs to be a little bit floppy. There's flexibility in there. It's not fixed like this. That's, that's going to hurt when you hit the strings. There's a little bit of this action going on in your wrist kind of turning the key. There's also a little bit of hand movement, maybe more hand movement than there was with the thumb. But the arm is still pretty still. There's also a tiniest amount of kind of flick in the finger. But as I say, mostly the arm is still. This is giving you more control we're not moving from all the way up here, down. We've got very small distance to travel. This gives you much more control over exactly where your finger is going to land, helping you find that balance between too hard and too soft. Now again, it's very important that you're feeling or counting a beat while you're practicing. Maybe some simple strumming patterns. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three. Or down, 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 up, down, up, one, two, three and four. And 
or more complicated. Down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and four, and one, two, and, and four. So it's good sometimes to talk about down, down, up, down, down, up with strumming patterns, but also it's good sometimes not to think too much about that. So long as your hands and your fingers can stay nice and relaxed and you've started off nice and gently and that you're feeling some kind of rhythm or counting while you're playing, then you'll start feeling those strumming patterns more naturally. It comes with practice. So the third way we're going to look at is playing each string individually. We're using our thumb, so it's the same position as we had for the first way of strumming. And again, we're not twanging. We don't want to see the string bending like this or pulling it out. We're not plucking in this way. There's nothing wrong with playing like that if that's the sound you want. There is no right or wrong way, I don't think, to play any instrument. So it's just enough pressure to brush that string and land on the string underneath, meaning you're ready to play the next string. I think making the movements as small as possible give you more control. Again, feel some kind of beat or count while you're playing, practicing. And this way is a very simple way to get us used to just playing individual strings. Okay, good luck with your practicing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.